So I was having more issues with my Dell Venue 11 Pro. The problem I was having was the travel keyboard here. This is the one with the battery in it. Uh, the touchpad wasn't working. Sometimes also connecting it, it wouldn't work. I applied the fixes that Dell suggested, which was a registry patch to disable the power saving on the USB port. But the problem continued and um, it's actually something to do with the hardware, I realized, because uh, it would, would work, it wouldn't work, and the touchpad wouldn't work. So in this video here, what I did, um, what I've done here is actually opened up the, the keyboard, trying to get the thing to work. Obviously there's a funny connection or something in there. I would send it back to Dell, and I advise that if you do own one, to get Dell to actually replace it for you. But uh, since I live in Spain, I ordered this from the US because I wanted a US keyboard. So the option to change it over became a bit of a problem for me, so I decided to fix it myself. So to actually open up the mobile dock keyboard, you've got these rubber strips here along the back that you need to pry open, pull them back, and you've got four screws. This is on each corner. You need to unscrew that. That's quite easy. The hard part is actually prying open the keyboard plastic from the metal surround here on the on the keyboard and what I used not to damage it at all was a plastic you could probably use like a credit card or anything like that, just to wedge it in there I started it off first with an actual needle needle or a pin just to get on there and to pry it open a little bit to pry it open and then use the plastic and go all around the outer edges and open the thing right up. That was difficult but eventually it came open and here you can see the the internals of the keyboard. Quite a large battery, it's actually two different cells there, very thin. Of course it's got to fit in a keyboard. And what I've done is all these tiny little connectors, pried them off and put them back, hoping that maybe it was a bit of a loose connector or something that was the problem, causing issues for me. And I did notice that the connector up here, this upper one here, which I think connects to the little pins, these pins here, that connect and dock to the actual tablet, wasn't exactly the best position was pushed in but there was a slight wasn't 100% flat so I changed that opened them all up reconnected them I've taken the battery out here and the dock actually runs without the battery so if you wanted to make the keyboard lighter if you were trying to make it as light as possible you could remove the battery but really it doesn't actually weigh much but imagine you've used the battery a lot of, and it's uh, it's dead. You could get rid of it if you wanted to. Not something I would do, but... And there's a connector here. Possibly, maybe, a bit of a an issue with the cable right here where it connects into where the dock is. Maybe that was my problem. I'm not too sure, but it seems to be working now. Touch wood. After opening it up. I'm going to reconnect the battery and put it all back together now, but I've been testing seems fine now. So if I flip it around, this is where I think the, the issue is with these connectors right here. Perhaps they're not really connected up well, or they weren't, or the, the cable was being pinched so tight here where it pushes in there on the corner. A very similar to a laptop. I mean it's basically the same. So there we have it. Uh, again, I don't recommend doing this if you do not have experience. I've opened up quite a few laptops and the fact that it wasn't working, instead of having to buy a new one, I decided just to dive in and have a look, fix the issue. And now if I connect it, it should be working. And it is, caps lock light comes on. And the mouse trackpad is working. Hopefully it's going to stay that way. And what I'm going to do is the little connectors on the back, I'm actually going to go around 
and glue them all down. Probably not the best thing to do, but maybe a slight movement, maybe they come undone or glue might be a bit excessive. I might actually just put some tape on there to hold them in place, some electrical tape. But uh, there we go, that's the inside of the, the Dell Venue 11 Pro keyboard mobile dock they call it. Not the slim one, but the one with the battery of course. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, uh, please post them on the video here and I will answer them if I can. And, and there we go. So that's the internals. The inside plastic, which I will clip back on. And hopefully now, fingers crossed, a working keyboard dock. Dell seem to have a few uh, build issues. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you like the video. Bye.